Hey everybody, so welcome back to the channel. I'm gonna kick this one off with a really quick tip on how to get your water to taste a little better out of your hydration vest. Chances are if you just bought a hydration vest and you washed it with soap and water or maybe even used some baking soda uh, to try to get that plastic taste out of it and it didn't work for you, this is a quick tip that I think is gonna do the trick. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is to take your bladder out of your vest and then you're gonna to wanna to detach the hose. This is one of my favorite vests, by the way. It's by Nathan. I love it for the fit. It does a terrific job. Got hundreds of miles in that, in, the, in that vest. Okay, so detach the hose after you get it out of your vest. You can just kind of set this aside. Okay, now you're gonna to wanna to fill up your bladder about two thirds to three quarters of the way full with just room temperature water will work just fine. Don't fill up any more than three quarters, okay? Uh, I'm going to set that aside because I've already done that piece for us. It saves us a little bit of time. And then you get one of lemon. Okay, so cut it in half. And what we're going to do is we're going to squeeze the lemon juice into the hydration bladder. Now it's going to get, you know, a lemon, one, one large lemon produces about, you know, not a lot, it's like three tablespoons, maybe four tablespoons of juice. And we're going to want to get as much of that inside the bladder as we can and just squeeze it in there. Or if you got a juicer, in fact, that would probably work even better. But I'm just gonna squeeze this into my bladder. Try to get as much of that out of there as I can. Whew, I think I just squirted myself. I think I just lost a teaspoon over my shoulder. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay, I think we're doing pretty good there. i give it one more good squeeze. Put some, put some muscle into it. Okay. All right, I'm gonna close this up. And I guess I get it the right way here. I'm gonna just kind of swish it around a little bit. As you can tell, it's only about, like I said, well, it's got a little bit of air in it right now, but I got it just about two thirds of the way full. Now at this point, all I'm gonna do is stick it in the freezer and let it set overnight. So you wanna set it in the freezer for about a day. You really don't need to have it in there much longer than that. All right, so let's do that. All right, and then tomorrow we're gonna to take our bladder out of the freezer. We'll just put it in the sink to thaw naturally, however long that might take. Now, that hydration bladder, you might have noticed, is insulated. So I might likely have to run a little bit of warm water in there to get it to thaw just a little bit quicker. I have already done it with, with this vest or that hydration bladder uh, previously, and it worked terrific. It really changes the taste of the water. It tastes so, so much better but it took a little longer for it to thaw naturally in the sink because it is insulated. And then once that's over with and it's thawed, you can empty it, wash it out with a little mild soap and water, let it dry, put it back in your vest, reattach your hose, and you're gonna be good to go.